hello everyone uh, welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series and finally the, our government have decided to lift the blockade put on social media including YouTube after the Easter Sunday attacks and now that the blockade is removed I can continue with my channel as usual and today I want to show you how to add uh, vocals to these characters when they get hit when they grunt when they attack or shouts like this here is the demonstration and also I have a uh, custom so for this both enemy characters I have used the same voice but uh, they would have a little difference in their voices using some parameters okay so that's the demonstration and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me for the uh, human vocals I have already imported some sound effects and these are from a free sound pack uh, called human, uh, human vocalization from Unreal Marketplace I'll put the link in the description below and <laughs> these are the sound effects that I have already imported <laughs> these are for the uh, attack sound and I have two types of attacks male B and male C called <laughs> uh, to give a distinction bit, uh, of the sound between the player yeah. character and yeah. the enemy characters and also I yeah. have ground so grunt no. sounds Ow. Ow. like this and also shouts no. yeah. these are for like uh, to shout the characters when they do powerful attacks like a charged attack okay so where do I play these sound effects and how to make uh, them play different sounds for the player character and enemy characters so for that first I'll open my human and this is where we left yesterday and first I'll create three variables I'll call this one vocal attack and this should be in the type sound base sound base yeah and compile and also I need another variable that is for vocal front and another one vocal shout and for this one I'll assign this vocal attack male B and for the grunt I'll assign vocal male grunt B I have to compile first yeah and for the third one shout I'll assign vocal shout male B right so first thing I should do is in order to make different sounds for the enemy characters I'll open the enemy character I'll use these same sounds for the player I wouldn't override them for the player so for the enemy I'll change those variables I just assigned here 
this is the anime character blueprint and this is a child class of ch human which is this one and since i this is a child class when i select this ch anime self object i will have those variables here and here i can change them so instead of male b i'll put male c sounds like this right now sounds are assigned so where should i play them so for that let's first play the attack sound here on check hit right after play in we can play it here Mm -hmm. Here, play sound at location, and for the location, I can give get at uh, location. For the sound, I can use this one, vocal attack. And actually, since I am going to use this function, this part, uh, multiple times, I think I can convert this to a function. Like this. So I will call it play sound. sound at character is that good enough no play vocal let's do it like this because I am going to change this a little bit later let's see how it works was a little problem here I was getting the same attack animation that's because I am not incrementing this attack count so I'll increment it this is something that's not relevant to this but I'll do it here and now let's see and you I think you can notice here that the player and the enemy have two different sounds so these are player sounds. Let's see how the enemies sound. See? They have different sounds. Okay. So the next thing is uh, when my character get hit, I want to play the grunt sound. And also before that, here uh, under the check hit, if this is a charged attack instead of this uh, vocal, I want to use this shout. So we can do it like this. So if the the charged attack means uh, this is an unblockable attack. Oh, this can block case false so using this can block we can do a select and connect here so if the can block is true then I should do plug this if the can block is false that means an unblockable attack I should include the shout let's see how it turns out here so this is normal attack now I'll do a charged attack yeah 
that's the difference okay so the next thing is when I get hit I need to play a sound so let's do that here on weapon hit and on weapon hit if I am blocking I don't need to play anything yeah if I am blocking I should play a different sound other than a grunt sound but for now I don't have something like that so therefore mm, I'll play only when this character get hit that means here play vocal and for the sound use grunt Okay, let's see. You see the ground sounds. You can hear them. Right, so now I'm going to do something extra. So I want to give a different variable let's say there are there are two enemies just like him like this so I want to give them a variation in their voices so how can I do that so since I am using this one function to play vocals and if you click this the arrow you will get some extra values like this so here I can give some values to these parameters so I'll promote this one I'll call it VO pitch and this one vo vol volume right and then uh, i'll compile them first and the default values are one so on the begin play of the that is here I'll initialize these values I'll put these variables under sounds because that's much uh, I like to organize things right so here I'll get set this one and this one I'll call this part update vocal parameters And for this, I'll get a uh, random float in range, and minimum would be 0.6, and maximum would be 1.4. I'll do the same here as well. Now, the volume changing may not, it shouldn't be as like this so I'll reduce the range 0.9 I only need a subtle change there so let's see how it looks now <coughs> <coughs> so that's his sound now let's attack him <coughs> <coughs> 
I guess there is a difference uh, it's not very clear but I want to show it all right and uh, that's all I want to do for today and I'll upload the latest source code into my patreon page please uh, feel free to check that and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye